Because um, really, to keep it a being with y'all, you only supposed to take a shower one time a year. January 1st is when I take my shower. Every, every day after that, I don't take no showers. Because you're not supposed to dry your skin out like that. You're going to be... You're going to turn into a rock. You're going to turn into a dry, ashy rock. So, once a year, that's how much you're supposed to take a shower. Argue with your mama. Yo, if you believe that, then you stupid. I mean, it is possible for somebody to go years without taking a shower. There's this dude that was in the Middle East. My man went like 30 or 40 years without taking a shower. I could only imagine what he smelled like when them people interviewed him. But anyway, somebody convinced his ass to finally take a shower after about 40 years. And after he took the shower, he died. <laughs> I swear, look it up. Look it up. After he took a shower, he died, bro. But at the same time, man, she takes showers. Don't, 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 please. Her p you would smell like the gulag if she ain't take no shower. You need a cigarette because you're like, I need a cigarette. You can call your sister. I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to hurt. I'm not going to put my hands on you. I'm not going to put my hands on you. You can call your sister. I don't feel You can stay. You want, I thought talk. you wanted to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm going to walk my dogs with You're me walking both the dogs. And talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable I feel right now. She's going to go to bed. It's well past her bedtime, and I hope she picks up. How are you going to... I, I cannot. I cannot. I've, I've, you've known me for 11 years. I would never put my hands on you. I don't believe you. What? That's mine. Those are mine. Those are yours. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're and you're getting you're really asking. nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very f uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I guess I, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you can look. Because I have nothing to hide. You're, you you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever you, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a phone. Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am. and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. In the air, let's go. Right now. Cry? Yeah, because you're you're cornered. She's ready to cry. Yes, because you're because you're doing something that's wrong. That's why. If, if then let me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote with someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. It's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. Y'all know what she about to do She about to go out there and walk the dogs And delete all the messages Then come back in the house, show him the phone And act like he's freaking insane That is crazy Now I don't believe in In, um, in checking other people's Messages but I'm not going to sit here and act like I have not. That's one thing I'm not going to do. If it, You know what I'm saying? We family. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I am guilty. I haven't done it in a long time though. You know what I'm saying? It's been a... I'm a recovering addict. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. I'm a recovering addict, bro. And I'll be honest. My, it, it's not that I don't trust my wife. Is that I don't trust her judgment. I always tell her, I'm like, yo, you got ugly girl energy. Like, you're very attractive, but you have ugly girl energy. And some of y'all might be like, what is ugly girl energy? Ugly girl energy is when you make men too comfortable and they feel as though they got you. She don't look at it like that. She look at it as her being friendly, but you can't be friendly to dudes. You can't. I'm sorry. I'm a man and I'm letting you know that you can't be friendly to men. You have to have a uh, an imaginary boundary that makes them feel uncomfortable to cross. That, and that's when you're in a relationship. Now, if you're not in a relationship, you're single, you can be free and willy-nilly and do all that. But when you're in a relationship, it's a it's a it's an imaginary boundary that you have to set that makes men uncomfortable. Because if they get too comfortable, they get to being disrespectful to your relationship. They get to being disrespectful to your man. If you make another man too comfortable, he gets so comfortable that he starts sizing up your husband. 
he starts sizing up your boyfriend. That's where you gotta you gotta get off of that. I call that shit ug ugly girl. I call that shit ugly girl energy. Damn, girls. Hey, hey, y'all need a ride home? Yes, please. Hey, come around the front. We got a ride. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just with y'all. Ha, 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 Yo, that's foul, bro. That's foul, that's foul. First off, don't, don't what you, what his height got to do with anything, man? See, what am I supposed to do? I'm not supposed to get out of here. I ain't never dealing with nobody else on the street. He talking about some, no, I ain't got no girlfriend. Should have known he had a girlfriend, but he was sweet. Oh, be head ass. Stop sign head, heaven ass. Apricot, lollipop, heaven ass. I don't know what it is, but, like, my spidey senses are telling me that she thick. I know I shouldn't be talking like this, but my spidey senses are telling me that behind her, it's a, it's a horse and carriage, dog. I'm going to get back to the video. I just want to throw that out there. That, that was going through my mind. I'm going to see if I can get out of here. It's quiet. I think I'm going to go. Hey, 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 Oh shit. Hey, this gotta be a skit, bro. <laughs> she said, I can't fight y'all now. That gotta be a skit. I don't know what it is. You know, this how this how you could tell sometimes when they think. Now it's something about the the the, the neck, the facial ratio. It, it's something about, you know, under the neck. You could just tell that back there she might have some a plump situation. Maybe I'm wrong, cause there's some of y'all hoes that don't got no neck or y'all got like the the triple chin and all that. You know I'm i I'm finna say something. I'm gonna say something fucked up. I'm about to say something crazy. But hey, listen my boy. There's some of these girls out here that be thick when they in their twenties. Now you could crack and you could hit and you can do all that, but I want you to know now, those the ones when they turn 45, 46, 47, they they be they be looking like some shit. I'm keeping it a hundred now. They be looking like some shit. Now if you're not gonna love her unconditionally, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Cause some of us out here we fall in love with the ass and 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 you know, we get married. We ain't really getting married to her. We getting married to the ass. And and when she get older, the fat from the cheeks, uh, uh, it travels and it don't look right. It don't look right. I seen a I seen a picture the other day, man. This this older lady, she bent over. I guess she was, you know, she was trying to be sexy. She bent over and it didn't look right. It didn't look right. This that's all I'm gonna say. You know, y'all remember Nick Jr. Um, not even Nick Jr. Man, it was, it was the it, it was a it was a cactus made of, of freaking play doh, and it used to come on on Nickelodeon. That's how her booty looked. That's how it looked. Now, just picture that. All right, now it looked like it used to look like something back in the day, but she got older, and, and you know what I'm saying that thing started. I'm gonna stop. All right, y'all. So look, boom. This my B and B, right? Look, look normal, right? Big and everything, nice and solid and all. All right, you walk up here, right, man? Hold on, hold on. Let me walk up here real quick and show y'all this shit. All right, so you walk up here and y'all see these little hoes, right? Boom. So me and my brother, right? We just so happen to casually look under here, and it's a nigga standing under the fucking B and B. 
Nigga got chicken shoes, fucking honey buns, and tissue, and a whole bag, and a door. What the fuck? Airbnb, y'all gotta get y'all shit together, bro. Y'all gotta get y'all shit together. Oh my god. <clears throat> Wow, that's that's crazy. You can't blame Eric. Well, you can, but you can't. It's really the owner. That means the owner don't go check on their shit. You got somebody squatting, and you wouldn't even know. You don't know about it. The pro <laughs> Here's the crazy thing. The person squatting is probably the person that cleans the place. The person squatting might be the person that cleaned the place. I'm just throwing, oh, it might be their cousin, right? <laughs> it might be their cousin. It might be their cousin, bro. Be like, hey, bro, I got this Airbnb. I got to clean every other week or whatever. It's usually nobody there. You could just sleep in the basement. Ain't nobody going to know you down there. That's crazy. Oh, my God. So how long y'all been knowing each other? Okay. You don't know her. Yeah. How long y'all been knowing each other? So this is what the f*** you do to me, oh, This is what the f*** I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Stop cheating on these women, bro. Stop cheating on. Stop cheating, man. Just, just, just stop. It ain't, ain't nothing gonna come up out of it. But you know, ladies, you know how these side chicks be winning? These side chicks be winning because they don't have no morals when it comes to sexual activities. Hear me out. These side chicks be winning because they don't have no morals when it comes to sexual activities. Even the side dudes. I am guilty of spanking some cheeks in the driveway of a chick's house while her husband was downstairs. Well, it wasn't even her husband. It was her boyfriend. But I am guilty of smacking some cheeks in the driveway while her husband was downstairs. Now I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it funky. It, I'm being dramatic. It wasn't really the driveway, but it was in front of the house. So they had their driveway, and they live like at the end of like you know how a cul-de-sac look. So they live like in the little circular part. So I parked in the circular part, and she came outside, and I spanked. I, I spanked them cheeks, and um, her boyfriend was in the house. Well, they live with her moms, you know what I'm saying? But they lived in the basement, and her boyfriend was in the house. So I guess he thought she was upstairs with her moms, but she was outside busting nuts. All right, fellas, the women have spoken up and said they're not satisfied with the way a lot of y'all respond to a nude. So let me help you out. Keep in mind, though, I'm a nerd. If you're dating a thug girlfriend, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not one of those. All right, so you get the nude. It's fire. She done did the lighting setup, put the camera on a tripod, the works, right? The wrong response is damn with the heart eyes emoji. That is the absolute wrong response. She put in what too much the, effort for you to say that what is because right girls response? want the drama. Memes are always an option. You can send two to three and make sure they're dramatic. Like the old school cartoons where the wolf's eyes pop out of its head or like Jim Carrey in the mask with his jaw dropping or something like that. You know? Voice notes are also a great quick option. And make it dramatic. Put that razzle dazzle on it. Example, barking at the phone. <laughs> you could sing a little, a little R&B. He'll make love to you. Now, if your girl is a drama queen, she's going to need a little bit more effort than that. Send a photo or video of yourself fainting or just already passed out on the floor. Example. Because you know what she did? She made your heart skip one too many beats.
And a top-notch response is always, I'm on my way, and actually be on the way. Now, if your girl is a nasty heathen, send her a video and you know what kind of video I'm talking about and make sure there's sound. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. That that would be my response. Sure, I'll, <laughs> I'll send you a video of myself choking the chicken.